pretty good time fishing, but the bite was really slow. So we thought we'd tie on some topwater baits and we got to thinking about the proper technique for topwaters. So Drew hit the YouTube and see if he could find a video to explain the, the correct technique. And boy, did we find a lot of crap out there. This is kind of the pro tips he came across on I'll YouTube. I'll tell you what, one of my favorite baits is this here jitterbug. But make sure you have a 7.5 gear ratio on and a 6.6 six or 7.2 rod. And, uh, oh, my wife likes and, that one. And a Bud Light. <laughs> and make sure you got the Hank Williams Jr. playing in the background. <laughs> so you know what? I thought I'd make my own video on my techniques. I mean, I'm no pro by any means but I've had some pretty good luck over the years catching some big mouth bass. So here's what we do. I'm not saying this is what you should do or this is the only way to do it, but here's what we do to catch the big fish. Hope you enjoy. The truth of the matter is if the fish are biting, you don't need a fancy rod. Just use a light line. If you're gonna catch six pound fish, use an eight pound line, but you can catch these on a Barbie fishing pole for crying out loud. Don't listen to what the guys tell you on YouTube. They're all full of crap. Just go out and fish. The best lure is the one that's in the water. And on next week's episode, we'll show you how to catch pike with a Barbie, <laughs> Barbie fishing <laughs> rod. 54-inch <laughs> muskie on, on SpongeBob SquarePants. All right. So here's how I tie this on. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. Start with a fresh clip on the line. And then uh, I don't use any leaders or anything like that. You don't need to. But I put it through the hole like so. And then I'm going to actually double it back through the hole again. So now I've got... sitting on it like that but you want to have it long enough that because you're going to pass the, the lure through so i'm just going to take this i'm going to do one overhand knot so it's over and through again like that and when that hole come, the loop part comes out this is real tv too this is a hacker's guide i'm going to, I'm going to take the loop now and i'm going to drop the lure through the loop so now I've got that through, and then I'm just gonna wet the line. And I'm just gonna pull it tight, gently. You don't wanna really burn the line through, just gently, and I'm gonna tighten it up, and then I'm gonna clip the, the, uh, the tagged end off, just down close to the, I'm about a quarter of an inch away from the lure, and just give it a tug to make sure, but that's exactly how you tie that Jitterbug. Isn't she a thing of beauty? Rocket fish rod. <laughs> the thing is, it would scare the hell out of the fish. <laughs> Last time I used a rocket fishing rod, it went off and I shot myself in the foot. Now, in all seriousness, uh, I just seen a fish jump to the surface, so we know it's a good top water night. Nice, calm surface on the water, and uh, and a lot of bugs on the surface. The, the secret is, if the bugs are biting, then the fish are too. That's my theory. And with the, with the jitter bug, I usually cast it in and I let the rings all dissipate like this. And once I don't see any more rings anymore, I just give it a little blast, maybe move it about a foot and see possibly if a bass is watching it. And then once I let those rings dissipate, I'll just kind of bring it in, kind of skimming it. You want to have a nice little bubble action and sound and pause it once in a while so it's almost like an injured frog on the surface. The nice thing about this thing is you can cast it right into lily pads, lots of cover, and you don't have to worry about it getting snagged up. But we did see a fish jump over here earlier, so they are definitely feeding on the surface tonight, and that's a good indication of when to pull out the top water baits. So I just give it, I usually move it about a foot or two feet at a time, 
And sometimes you can't go wrong just cranking it like that. Give the fish what they want. <laughs> the fish know what they want. And see how the little bubble action there? They, they love that. It doesn't hurt to change direction either. So it has a zigzag motion. We're not having much luck right now, so stay tuned and we'll see if we can I lost it. it. What? Son of a bitch, Clad. No way. Son of a you were due for one there too, buddy. I'm leaving. You got it. It's going through weeds and shit. It's taking it real hard here. Wait, what? You can let the drag out a bit. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. That is what you fish top water for. Just let the drag out a bit. Let it run a bit. Keep going. Just get her over here. That's a monster. I can't. You got it. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Tighten it a bit. You got it. Come on, please. I don't want to touch the line. Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, dude. <laughs> that is a four pounder. Easy. <laughs> Off a of popper. Oh, baby. Where's the Hank Wilms Jr.? <laughs> Dude, that is worth it. Oh, fuck yeah. I have a freaking no catches tonight. You fucking hang on that one. <laughs> My first catch this weekend. First catch of the year. I gonna hold on to that thing. <laughs> but that is what you top water for. Put on the dirty pits. This is the biggest fish I probably ever caught in this lake. Look at that. <laughs> We've been fishing top water. I had given up on the jitterbug. I shouldn't have. Uh, Drew stuck it out with a popper, and uh, patience paid off. I just that largemouth bass that you just seen us reel in was caught on that. Let's see the technique you were using to to uh, catch this bad boy. You want the Hank Williams Jr. version or the, or the, <laughs> the Dale Earnhardt version of fishing? Or yeah, that's right. So I found out we were we were just cruising along the shore here. These like weeds, no more than probably three feet deep here. Cast right kind of in the middle. You see where the lilies start? I cast it just inside that so I didn't get all snagged up. I cast it right kind of dead center in the middle. Let me see how, how I can do right here. Just like that. I let it sit for a few seconds there. Kind of just let the ripples dissolve. Same same idea as the jitter. Yep. And then I just gave, I just kind of give it a little little pops you see the little bubbles and it was about the second my first little shake on it second little shake that monster came out of the water and gobbled the thing up but you know, know don't give up on your first couple just keep going along we've been fishing no word of a lie for about an hour with not one nibble each maybe but i, I had a i had a big one a little half, oh yeah you did you did catch one earlier. yeah you did have one on Doing but you got off technique but that, that bucket mouth we just had <laughs> wanted it yeah you just gotta make sure you gotta have some slack, tighten it up just a little bit, keep that slack, and then do a couple It's a little, little pop, so you, you can hear it. Glub, glub. And the bigger the mouth is on that popper, the bigger and the more exaggerated the pop will be, so that might give a little. You're just trying to make it kind of look like an injured frog or something <laughs> popping along the surface. We're on video, so you know we're not gonna catch anything. I caught another fish. This would just be too perfect. Let it sit. Oftentimes they hit right when it lands like that or the first couple pops. Oh. And it did. Usually when they when they attack, they don't let go. Like, that's it. You, you get one on your line, hold on for a ride. Especially these big, huge hooks on this thing. It's hard, to, it's hard for them not to get caught in it. Right it was, it was caught nose. good. Yeah, hooked it in good. It must have bit right on the back of it or something. but I can't believe Drew uh, stuck it out. I would have gave up a lot earlier. I, I could feel something. I did give up. I gave up on the jitterbug. And I, figured, I figured you weren't catching anything with the rubber worms. Why give up on the pop? Yeah, I had a worm on, and it's very... More satisfying to catch it. If you look worms. at the lake, it's almost glass. So there's something right there. The yeah, big rock. There. Yeah. But that's kind of the, the action right there. Little. You'll see the bubbling. On little the bubbles. Bubbles are good. And in the in the uh, the bull rushes, that that guy was just hunkering down for the night. You know what? You, you're not catching twenty fish in a night. You're catching one, but it's, it's the good be one. The one. You just let it sit. Let them ripples go in. Just 
get that little pop action. Let it sit, a couple good pops, and ready to go again. And maybe the like Chad Kruger, because Animal Eye have become was playing on the... <laughs> Nobody likes Chad Kruger! That was Nickelback, wasn't no, that it? that wasn't. That's, uh, you're Canadian. That's Three Days Grace, Oh, that man. was Three Days Grace. Idiot. <laughs> we can edit that out. You're Canadian. You should know that. Come on, man. <laughs> they're, they're like down the street from us. What are you doing? Come on, one more cast for good measure, man. I'll catch him again. He went right back in there. He's getting pissed off again. And that's true. Sometimes you just anger them so much they strike at it. The whole thing out of the water. See the big that's bubble shit. waves pop up. That's... That's the, the technique right there with these poppers. Hence the name. Good name. That's a perfect Whoa. one. I don't know if you heard that glug. Okay, I'm gonna fish as well. So hopefully we'll catch another one.